13-year-old Stephen Backus has been called the smartest kid in America. His IQ measures somewhere between 190 and 200. You want me to take it? Uh, can you get it? Yeah, I got it. Leave it alone. Okay, got it? Okay. Once his computer gets back from the repair shop, Stephen will program his own animated stories and games and adapt it to run a robot he is building. Well, it, well if I'm against that, I don't, need to, I don't need to take it in for another repair. Uh, it, it'll be okay. Such boyhood achievements as graduating from high school at 12, straight A's, producing and directing his own TV commercials at 11, and becoming the youngest student to ever enroll at New York University, again at 12, has earned Stephen enough publicity to give even Brooks Shields a run for the money. I really don't uh, think of myself as a celebrity. And I, I really don't mind the attention or anything. Uh, sometimes it can become a little bit of a bit, bit of an annoyance, but otherwise, I guess I like it. Steve is also a professional model. He's acted on stage in his hometown of Miami and off-Broadway in New York and appeared in movies, including Hardly Working with Jerry Lewis. Yep, he has a fan club and gets asked quite a few questions. Are you really an actor? Yes, I am. At what age were you doing all this? I started at six. You have equipped with everything. <laughs> I don't think there's a fair world. I think they should have shared a little bit with us. Oh. At least let me play the piano. Tell me, what does it uh, feel like to uh, be such a young boy and going to college and being a genius? Uh, well, I don't... Does it bother you? No, I, well, I don't particularly like the word genius, huh? because I just think of myself as a 13-year-old kid that learns uh, faster. As for in college, I get along with the kids fine. They treat me just like one of the normal kids, but shorter. You, you take this side, I'll take that side. It's, it's easier this way. Until last August, Stephen and his mother lived in New York. Steve concentrated on his studies, computer experiments, and theater. Mom organized his skyrocketing career. Ouch, my fingers are on the computer. Okay. Ouch. He's never had any problems uh, with, uh, with children or adults or he socially, he's, you know, he's very well adjusted. I'm not an egghead, at least I don't, perce I don't perceive myself to be. And I think IQ has been, uh, uh, the test has been uh, overplayed. It might be uplifting to either know your five points uh, ahead of, above normal or whatever it is. But I really don't believe too much in IQ tests. I pick up things quickly. And that's. I believe that's basically what may be construed as uh, intelligence. Already, Steve is studying for his law school entrance exam, cuts through chemistry books like a hot knife through butter, has won awards and citations, yeah, there's a Stephen Backus day in New York, and beats chess masters at their own game. Everything kid geniuses are supposed to do. So you'd think that Steve wants to grow up to become a nuclear physicist or something. Nope. Steve wants to become a tapper. Steve is stuck on showbiz more than computers and practices time steps daily. Oh, lest we forget, he also strums a mean guitar, presses a romantic accordion, tickles the ivories, and is developing quite a voice. While the other guys were out playing with the football, I was home playing on the keys, but it got me right where I am. Look at me playing the piano. I am just going to let him decide what he wants. He's been in acting for a few years, and now that he's tried Broadway and almost made it with two off Broadway shows, he's he's very good, and everybody you know says he's good and he's got talent. So why should I deny him? With such an active life and bright future, does America's brightest kid ever suffer from regular day-to-day -day boredom? Boredom? Uh, interesting. Uh, how, did I, how did I deal with that? Uh, I believe it was when, when the computer was in the shop. I had really nothing much to do. Uh, hmm. Let's see, I worked on the piano a little bit. 
uh, for some of the instruments. Uh, what did I do? I, I really don't remember, but I, boredom doesn't happen too much. Thank you.